Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm also gay, I was gonna tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating, Dating Straight. Hey, Amy. Hey, Jack. And hey, hey Rose and Rosie. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Oh, oh. Well, if you want the real details, I mean, basically, oh. I'm having a celiac test tomorrow. So I've been eating loads of gluten and I'm in a lot of pain <laughs> and my hands are really red and itchy. And oh, she, oh my God. she really oh, smells God. really quite bad. Yeah. So that's the reality I'm living in. How are you? Yeah, and the, what's with you? <laughs> Wait, why do you... I'm okay. Yeah. Why do you Wait, need the you test if you already know that you're breaking yeah. out? Um, well, just for fun. I just want it on my medical record, really. <laughs> we want okay. it official. Fun, yeah, a bit of we fun. We want it official, don't we? we go crazy and eat some naan bread, so. Yeah, we're doing that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that you were gluten-free already. I was, And then you but... decided, fuck that, over it. No, I, I don't know why I'm doing it to myself now you bring it up. <laughs> I think I'm she, unsure of the reason. I think she just wants a doctor to say, that's what's wrong with you. Mm. And then she's mm. going to be like, yeah, it's the, like I always said. But it definitely is what's wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really interesting <laughs> life we lead, isn't it? <laughs> this is what marriage excellent is. Excellent content for yeah, the podcast. Yeah, excellent content. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Uh... Jack? <laughs> Jack, how are you? <laughs> um, oh, I'm getting, I'm actually getting a coronavirus test today. Um, Rose has had one of those. I can't believe you just Ooh. trumped his story on his own. No, how, no, no. I'm scared. Please tell me about it. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's it it very me. horrible. Excuse You're not going to enjoy it. Me. Let me tell my own Scare experience. Him. Let me tell them my own experience. <laughs> okay. I'll, and then I'll do an impression. Okay, so basically, I was picked at random in the UK to kind of see how many people were either asymptomatic, but, you know, had it, or mm -hmm. had it without knowing, whatever. Um, so I was chosen. I felt quite special. I got the swab. And at first, I took the piss of Piers Morgan for saying, oh, it was horrible. I gagged. It was horrible. And I gagged. The swab's <laughs> really long. And you have to swab your tonsils. Yeah. So I just heard Rose in the other room going... <coughs> <laughs> and then you take it out and you shove it all the way up your nose. The same after, one. The same one. So it like the top into your brain. No! And then I heard it go. <laughs> and uh, it just, it's just I, gross. I was nearly sick like five times, but I'm glad that I took it. And you don't have it. My gag reflex she, though. She tested positively <laughs> towards negative. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, did. I didn't have it. So good news all around. Do you think you have it? Well, I've I've been protesting, so I've okay. been like, well, I'm my catch up, I guess, is that I've been shunned by my family. I'm actually in my grandma's like haunted granny flat. I um, see that. It's yeah. Very oh my um, god. It's like Victorian, like I don't know. It's, it's stunning. Like, I love it. It's wow. Crazy. Um, but so I'm in here until I get my results back that I'm negative. Okay. Um, okay. And why it's... were you shunned by your family? Because you may have it, or yes, because my right. dad's a medical professional and he's okay. like very strict. Wow. About oh, that. Well, fair play. I think that's very that's... responsible. I think that's yeah. Fair. Mm. And you do have a haunted mansion to be in. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, I have like a kitchen, and that's all you need. <laughs> you know. That. Yeah. It is really all you need. I agree. I have <laughs> lots of gluten agree. here, so ah! living in paradise. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Sounds you guys, amazing. I got a coronavirus test and mine was nothing like that. What? It was so easy. Really? You just, you? Yeah, you just take a swab and they were like, basically brush your teeth with it. So like, I had to like, put it everywhere. Oh. No tonsil, no nose. Really? Oh, maybe it's just UK torture then. I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's what it is. No, no I have to do, do the nose too. thing today. Because do you? my dad told me last night that the um, mouth ones only are half as sensitive as the nose ones. Oh, good luck, Amy. Amy. <laughs> Amy. Well, it came back negative, so... Good. Like, you didn't knows? deep throat your swab, and that's where it went wrong. <laughs> that's exactly where it went wrong. No, guys, I think it's very good to be responsible, and I think that's very good. Yes. 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 I think it's Thanks, very guys. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. Welcome. That is so nice. <laughs> um, okay, so... You guys are our most requested guests literally ever. 
So <laughs> if you guys don't know the roses, do you want to introduce yourselves for the people who don't know? There's no one who doesn't know. Okay. Uh, All right. How should, how should we do this? Okay. I'm Rose and this is my wife, Rosie. This is my beautiful wife, This Rose. is my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> Um, um, yes we are youtubers um and i'd like to think role models of some sort what do you think (laughs) oh i don't know no we don't know no we we, Uh, we're the ones who talk about poo a lot we talk about poo a lot and for some reason we've garnered an audience over the last decade dare i say who enjoy that of lovely lovely followers and we have got a lovely community of people online and we are very fortunate to do the job that we do and we still enjoy it can you believe it we still enjoy it and we and we are still married to each other and it works somehow and we don't hate each other yet (laughs) yet waiting that's amazing honestly that's something yeah, to You're just to. like calling out all the other lesbian couples. Like, well, <laughs> it's fair. They're the only ones like still together. It's true. Everyone breaks up. Everyone. Maybe, it's true. Yeah, but maybe uh, I was thinking about this though. I don't think we're yeah. fair to those guys because we live in very rural England. It's very boring and very slow pace. Are you just saying it's because there's less other hot people around and that's how our marriage survives? <laughs> <lies? laughs> less <laughs> options, yeah. Yeah, less actually options. a little bit of what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God. No, oh, I, think, my God. I think that there have been hotter, uh, better couples than us, but they just... We're just, we're becoming Ellen and Portia. We're just still, oh. still we're just still Peoples. making it somehow. We're still, right, yeah, right, right. We have yeah. no other options exactly. left. <laughs> That's it. We do always say if we lived in LA, we don't know if we'd have made it. We do say that. We, because really? we were going to, yeah, because we That's were going to move to LA. That's a horrible thing to put on someone's Oh, sorry. <laughs> but we were like, but we were like, oh, we were going to move to LA. You guys remember, we were really going to move. We were like looking yeah. into it and then... <laughs> we I were like mm. Amy and I would have ended up together and that's the problem yeah I <laughs> think, oh, I think everyone yeah I know but seriously this is about dating right and I think that it's important to be honest and I think that we've had this discussion before if we were in you LA, know LA there'd be more struggle there would it would be a tough we'd more have jealousy a we said way more, more jealousy. jealousy more drama mm. yeah I love it though it sounds yeah. great no yeah, no no, no gay up. couple in LA ever works and I stand by that exactly. yeah thank unless you. they're I mean, in an does open any relationship couple work? does mm. any couple work in LA gay, gay or straight yeah I don't know any straight people only people so. who <laughs> have met outside of LA I genuinely believe that interesting or if they move out of it maybe and save themselves yes interesting but you think it's only yeah, you open have to relationships leave. work interesting see there see? you go would you guys ever go open no um, <laughs> <laughs> no i, I when you it. say um it makes me go <laughs> no, no i don't think or- so we had that discussion once do you remember we were like oh could we ever do that and still mm. have that love and that trust mm. but for me being exclusive is for me anyway what it's about yeah that's what makes it special i think and i think that i could be in another relationship where it's open but what me and rose have is built on Tru- like not tr- ex- like not that being in an open relationship means you can't no, trust no 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 but partner. it's just built on exclusivity yeah. like we've got also we've gone nine years why break wow. that? Let's just see how long we can. Well, let's yeah. just see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's obviously working. Yeah, thanks, so guys. Far. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we get into like um, our actual catch up? Sure. Yeah, Jack. Take okay, it away. so we we want mm. to like stop the fun <laughs> for a second to just okay. kind of address because. As you guys know, the listeners, our last couple of episodes have been completely about sort of the current affairs in America. Okay. So we still wanted to have like a little segment at the top of each episode, um, you know, just addressing what's going on um, because, you know, life ain't all fun and games right now. I know. It, it is. The revolution yeah. is still happening. Mm. Good, yeah. though. Good that the revolution yeah, yeah, yeah. is happening. Yeah. That was my catch up, though. I already kind of spoke about like how I've been protesting and now I'm shunned away and like we've kind of said already highly recommend if you've been protesting to go do um, get tested as well because Mm -hmm. we don't want to flare up right now um especially because like black community people in the black community have like a higher proportions yeah I was saying this to Rosie the other day I know it's something to be mindful of and it's just I said though unfortunately like 
it's 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 a, a crazy crazy that the pandemic is also happening with such an important movement yeah and mm. but i said to rosie the movement has to happen regardless yeah, although you can't let uh covid stop it uh you can still protest but be cautious you know yeah. wear mm-hmm. a mask yeah if you can socially distance try yeah. get tested you know yeah. be responsible just yeah. be responsible yeah, because you're hurting the people who you're trying. You're potentially right. hurting the people who you're trying to help. So yeah. right, mm-hmm. right. It's That's a really, really tricky situation. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So we wanted to actually highlight like a new thing that we learned this week, mm-hmm. and also a new organization that. And like, we'll leave those links in the description box below. Cool. So I saw on Twitter. Um, his name is Benjamin O'Keefe. And he tweeted, he has some perspective. It would cost $20 billion to effectively eliminate homelessness in the U.S. And it would cost $34 billion to ensure free college for every American. And we spend $100 billion plus on police. <gasps> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So <sighs> we need to address that. And and they, they're starting to like have to look at it because... Um, so many people are we're all talking about defunding the police mm-hmm. and abolishing police. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we will see we've seen like some little changes already, but hopefully we'll see some more. Yeah, I'm can really we, can so. we talk about the changes that we have seen because um I'm trying to keep up with it the best that I can on social media. And <coughs> I feel like sometimes uh being in the UK you feel a little bit removed because I don't understand your um legal system very well. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. so 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 some of the changes I mean this is great. This is exactly what we want, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they cut like it was 5% of the policing budget in LA. Okay, but okay. that's not really enough. 5% is not yeah, really 5% that small. much. Small. Right, they need yeah, to do more. It's pretty small. Yeah. But so, at least it's a change already. But it's something that's happening. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's well, great. Um Minneapolis where George Floyd's oh, murder yeah. happened. Yeah. 9 out of 12 of the um city councilmen who are responsible for allocating the budget every year um said that they will um, defund the police but they said um that like the president of the commission said um or the council said that this is something that's obviously going to take a long time like okay. it might be something that is a transition over many years so when i'm think like looking at la's thing like five percent whatever but like how about a commitment to like defund five percent every year for yeah you know, that's good yeah. for that's good 20 yeah. years yeah. or whatever um yeah so something yeah. like that, I think, might be, have like a more yeah. um, understandable implementation, um, yeah, which hopefully we can see from like Minneapolis or some other place that might yeah. take that chance or whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's great. I think that's great. What annoys me, though, is why do things take so long? Like, I understand mm. that legalities and the legal system is very convoluted and it's lots of layering. Mm. But, like, if we really want to make change and people really want to make change, which we all do, I don't understand what the delay is. I really don't. And it really frustrates me a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping what it is is they've done something quickly now. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping that they'll realise, like, you know, this isn't enough. Right. People are protesting. We've got okay. to listen. Okay. And I'm hoping that more change will yeah. happen. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I think they I just think don't want to change it because it's... People love the police. Like, here, like, that's a job that's, like, so idolized and... I really? Yeah. I think that's so... What, do you have any idea, like, what it takes to be a policeman in the US? Because I'm wondering if it's different over here. Like, different requirements, maybe. Um yeah, do you know how, can anyone be a policeman? Like, what's the sitch? Yeah, um, from what I know, you just need a high school diploma. Um, and it takes less hours than a hairstylist. To I saw become, that, I saw oh that. Oh my God. Um, I, I, how, how, how can that be acceptable? They should put can... in um, some, uh, like, some kind of extra training that every single person has to go through that obviously takes longer than, you know, getting your hair yeah. cut. And they need to it's... put in certain requirements and certificates that you have to go and keep getting retrained and stuff. It's been yeah. um, talked about that, like, maybe all police officers should have to have a college degree and, like, have study, have taken classes in, like, psychology. Um, I guess that's I, I really good. Like Why that. not? Are, aren't they not, like, emotionally and psychologically vetted or, or go through any kind of training? No. Do you guys know that, that, that um, 
there was a court case where the police didn't let someone join the force because they had an IQ that was too high. And um, the How person... How can you ever say someone's IQ is too high? What the hell? And they took them to court and the police won. Like, they, they don't... They can't... They're allowed to not hire people because they're too smart. Oh, okay. That's I don't, so crazy be, to be, me. Is, are they insinuating that your IQ is high, therefore you're going to be more in touch with perhaps your morals or your ethics yeah. are they worried they're going to be manipulated or perhaps also, or perhaps they are less likely to be manipulated into I a system i understand worrying about putting someone in a position of power with a gun and stuff and they're so so clever that they could abuse it but then people are already no, abusing it people are abusing yeah, it yeah this... it makes it, that makes no sense to yeah. me but none of it makes sense to me <laughs> that's crazy i think it's really interesting then that uh you have way more vetting to be a sperm donor uh, and then you do a policeman, and I just think that's really, really interesting. Okay. Sorry, I just thought about it. She's because... brought sperm into it. I only brought that into it because I, w- w- mm. you know, Rose and I have just been talking about, you know, all the different levels that they go through. And I can't. I'm it's so emo- bad with it's, numbers. It's, it's emotional. It's emotional. They testing, go through emotional testing. testing to do that, even though you're not going to be a part of your child's life. Mm-hmm. And like, I just think that's really interesting that you just like how you you're, you're psychologically tested before you just go and you know basically jerk off into a pot and never see your child. No, do you know what I mean, though? But I like, think I do. Am I, I making a really I cr- wild stretch? There's some kind of connection there. Hmm. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but, it's a really weird example. But yes, I think there should be, I think there should be some kind of psychological testing and training yes, as well. Actually, like training. And debri- psychological debriefing as well. Like, mm. I think that's important. Mm. But mm. there you go. As and a person... No oh, guns, like, like, yes. uh, like we don't have guns. Yeah, here. I, yeah, I was about to say. I think We're your fine. police, most of them, don't have guns. No, the so majority the, don't have the guns. The majority do not have an armed weapon. Probably um, we if do, there was like a SWAT police we, we or something. We do have, um, yeah, yeah, police with guns when we absolutely extreme cases need them. Yeah, like mm-hmm. a um, like a extreme attack or yeah, something. But but your general officer will not carry a gun around here, and um, it works. I think that it works. Yeah, what I do think, you think? I mean, it does it does work it, because we're living it, and you know. I think anybody. I'm very passionate about um, gun, gun laws and gun yeah. control, but I think anybody given the power of an armed weapon, that's going to affect your mental state. You're well, going to think you are a very powerful person. Also, I worry about people making wrong judgments in a split second, yeah, and then it, yeah. if, if something goes wrong, it's you've done it. You've it's shot. Done. You fired a gun. Like okay. then. It, there's no going back from that. It scares I, I, me. I personally don't believe in it. I ha- I hate the fact that you know you can just buy a gun. I I, I hate that. But mm. there you go. That's just my personal mm-hmm. feelings. Yeah, I, but, I yeah. also feel the same. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's For crazy. Sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So just to wrap up this sort of thing, what we are asking you guys to donate to today, if you're interested, because it's mm-hmm. Pride Month. Um, yeah. There is a GoFundMe, which doesn't take any percent of profits. Um, Mm -hmm. And it's for homeless black trans women um, in Atlanta because um, black trans women, as most of you probably know, um, are much less likely to have housing. um, And housing obviously makes people way more safe. Like, it's like... Of course. Yeah, it's obvious. So check that out in the description. Send us that afterwards because I've been wanting to make a second donation uh, to some to a different organization, yeah. and so that might be what I choose. So that's yeah. really great. Yeah, Could that you will send be. That? that will yeah. be. What we sure. Yeah, I yeah, think that sounds really good. Thanks, yeah, really good. Cool. Okay, so let's jump into what you guys have been up to. <laughs> okay, so here we have. Okay, you started doing YouTube at the very beginning of your relationship together. The second day, I think it was. Oh the, second day. the second day? Or was it the third? That's a third. It was the third day. I lied. Wow. Third what day. did you guys do on the first two days? <laughs> 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 um, we, went, we went to the cinema on our first date. And we only we only kissed on our first day. Yeah, and then the second day, I don't know what we did, but I know we had I did. sex. We did it on the rug. <laughs> yeah, we did it on my rug. But I can't remember any out anything else. I, 
No, we just because you just came around and we just got drunk and had sex and that was it. So romantic! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, no, we 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 definitely started off doing YouTube very early yes. on. But remember, back then YouTube wasn't like what it is today. There was no kind of like huge influencer scene. It wasn't this place where you could earn all this all this money. We didn't earn any money. We, we were didn't. Just, no, we were just doing it for fun. So for fun, and um, I think that's why we are doing it now because we started for reasons that we thought were really really genuine and authentic like we didn't plan to have people watching we didn't plan to make any money we just did it so i honestly just did it so i had something to watch of us together mm. and like edit into something cute because i really enjoyed being with you and that's the, that's the truth and i think that hopefully people picked up on that being quite authentic <laughs> and then our yeah relationship. i do think it's like very different from like the youtube couples today like what you guys were doing right back right in the day but then i also cute. i also don't i'm not gonna sit here and like criticize the new youtube couples either because i think being no. visible as lgbtq plus is really important so and you need different types of people as well okay so you guys met through a mutual ex-girlfriend mm -hmm. How we met? Well, basically, I knew this girl in art college. We'll call her Blorin because that's very, very far from her actual name. And um, <laughs> Rosie dated her in high school, uh, like for a little bit. It was like your first kind of like I'd say it lesbian wasn't serious. Yeah, it, it was just serious. How, how long did you date Blorin for? Oh, literally, like officially dated, like literally a few days. Oh my but, god! Like, oh. But, but but we kind of like basically we had a flirty relationship and we were kind of experimenting gently with one another she made me realize i was bisexual okay mm. okay so That's even nice. though officially it was like barely anything it was unofficially it was a it, it was, was integral it was, yeah and unofficially it went on on and off for a long time throughout school yes that's true um so and then why I did you guys break up sorry, <clears throat> sorry. because what? i had a really religious uh friend who was very homophobic and she told me that it was wrong and that i knew oh, it was wow. wrong and Jesus. that i shouldn't be doing it so she convinced me to break up with lauren she was lauren's Ew. friend yeah, yeah i know it, was, it, was, it wasn't good um and then i i met her at art when i well let me say that again I met her at art college mm -hmm. and um, and we dated for like four years, but it was kind of like, it was on and off. It was very turbulent. I learned a lot. <laughs> I would never revisit it ever, ever. Um, and it was your first girl, girl relationship. It, it was. And it backfired actually horribly on her because she tried to kind of win me over before we started dating by showing me a picture of Rosie, <laughs> which was really sexy. And you looked great um, she did like a hot therapist and um and i became so obsessed you with this picture it. that i was more obsessed with this picture than blorin in real life i think so... rose didn't believe that le like you could get bisexual or lesbian girls who looked like i did because we were in such a small town there was like no lesbians around and i think there wasn't a diverse selection of lesbians so you just didn't know mm -hmm. That there could be... It's true. You didn't know there was femme girls out there. You didn't know. It's true. And it was way harder to meet people uh, back then because there were no dating apps. There was no scene, especially mm -hmm. where we lived. Mm -hmm. no, so, gay, yeah. no gay bar. Yeah. Nothing. So I just had this really strong feeling and attachment to this photo, which soon led to <laughs> me kind of, I don't know, semi-stalking Rosie's whereabouts before getting with Lauren. And then Rosie became this huge problem in mine and Lauren's relationship. Because oh, I got wow. to... One time, I Lauren found... Um, Rose's diary or something, and it was um, comparing m me and Lauren who oh, is better. No, yeah. No. What, what was it, Rose? It was, no. it was a pros and cons yes. list for both. Oh, oh my god! My god! Can you share some of the pros and cons? Can if you any remember come to mind? Yeah. You were like Lauren's con, angry, angry. <laughs> And you were like, oh. Rosie's pro hot. I was like, you didn't, she didn't know me well enough to make it pros. I did. I was like, Lauren seems angry, sulks a lot. Not sure if she actually likes me. Right. <laughs> and you was just like, you were just you, like. She didn't know I me. I didn't know anything about her. So I was just infatuated with probably the idea of you. She, um, Lauren wow. made Rose delete me off Facebook. Um, yeah. So she became forbidden fruit, which made which it. Which only makes it more tempting. Exactly. As we, know. we love that. Mm -hmm. So then it just became a huge infatuation. And then when Lauren and I ended our relationship, Rosie also ended a relationship with her boyfriend and three months later we were each other's rebounds and we got together and it worked out. 
No, we need the full stalking story. Yeah, stars. we need the, I know that the there's drive more. by. Okay, that's it. So, so yeah, so so when Rose was with Lauren, she used to stalk me. I think that's she, very unfair. She, she, she it would was feel two times. She would feel bad about it. I think like, three. No. Yeah, like, yeah, three. maybe three. So, so yeah, so she saw me on the street, and she was driving her car, and then she turned the car around and followed me to check it was me. She oh. uh, drove past my house one this time is very with a unfair. group of friends. And I, I, I just got out of the bath. I didn't know that though. No, you, of course you didn't know no, that. But you were driving not. past my house you really just knew slowly. Where her house was. Yeah, you knew <laughs> where her house was. Drove by. Before it. you drive by, yeah, yeah, before your friends. And I yeah. dropped my towel so she saw me naked. She. I uh, only came, saw side boob. Thank you. She came into my <laughs> shop where I worked um, with Blorin all the time. She'd make Blorin go to my the shop where I was working so I would serve her. Yeah, I'd make excuses. I'd, I'd need like specific items that other retailers wouldn't sell which was a lie um and then Lauren would like angrily follow me and then she stormed out one time because I think she sort of like picked up on what was happening and then Rosie looked at me um when she was serving me my sweets and um and we didn't say anything did we to each other but you looked at me as if I had a huge handful you know on my hands which we did, did. Yeah. and um and that was the only sort of connection we made wasn't it just through the eyes yeah and I remember the date it was the 9th of December 2007 wow wow Wow. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it was. And you had red hair. Yeah, I had red hair. Yeah, yeah. that's how much I liked you. One time as well, wait, there was another time where Rose said to me, oh, I saw you just walking up the road with some guy. And she was like, yeah, like I saw you walking with this guy. And I was like, yeah, he was my work colleague. We were walking to work. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, well, whatever. It was a small town and I was always looking for like bright red hair because that's what Rosie was like donning at the time. And I, yeah, I was obsessed. Basically, I was obsessed. Um, wow. So was this why you and Blaren broke up? No, it wasn't my fault. Uh, Blaren made her delete me on Facebook. You, she wouldn't let you talk to me on MSN, which is what we used to communicate on back in the day. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. I had MSN. Yeah, I miss it. I really miss it. I don't. I do. No. Um, but um, you just broke up with natural causes, right? Natural causes? <laughs> the relationship. Well, I'm sure <laughs> like having an obsession with another woman yeah. could, that's, that's, I think of <laughs> I think Blorin knew that but my was, heart wasn't in it with her. There was her. problems in the relationship mm. on Blorin's side though as well. Like I mean this makes you sound really bad and it is, but also I did nothing wrong. She was awful. But she was like she didn't basically Blorin didn't treat Rose very nicely. Nah. Um she used to say horrible things about me to me so i'd think oh. that i couldn't get anybody else do you that, want to that, help oh. on the deal? no okay no. it's like that bad though it was bad it was, it was quite yeah bad. so Jeez. yeah whatever where is she now like what does she think of you guys and your like success together well I she will... used to bitch about it on twitter but then she like went off twitter <gasps> but she, i remember what did she say on when twitter? we moved in together she was like i give it a year <gasps> <gasps> No. Yeah, I yeah. love that one. That was a good one. We should have put money on it. So she, yeah, we should um, have. But we're quite lucky, actually. All of our exes are kind of like not online. Mm. So it's great. Yeah. Especially for you, because you've got countless number of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> but true. no, we are we are lucky. We haven't actually had any issues no, yeah. or drama. So It is what it is. Like, it's just worked out this way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound a little bit like you, like the show oh, you. Oh, it does. Like, I guess oh. my question is like, at what point is like s little stalking, stalking cute versus well, scary? I think, I think, first of all, I think if someone tells you to stop and you don't, then it's wrong. Can I just there say, guys, go. they were like three times. <laughs> three I, I, times. Okay, this is why I think it's okay. I think when back in the day, like Rose didn't have my number, there wasn't like... Like Rose was saying, uh, there's social no media. club, there, there wasn't was no social media. media. There wasn't ways, like, she couldn't follow me on social media. It didn't exist. I think we had MySpace, you know, and that was it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think, and we lived in <clears throat> nearby towns. So, I think it was a bit more acceptable to be like, oh, I'll just, like, go past their house. I think that was something I could see myself doing, probably. But yeah. But I think now... <laughs> When people are so accessible online, if you turn up at someone's house, well, that's now different. it's weird. But this is in the day when, like, we're so old. We remember the days when you just used to go and knock on someone's door and be like, are you coming out? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. how you used to do it. Yeah. Maybe like, that's we a had British landlines. thing. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like oh, yeah. you <laughs> coming round, yeah. love. Like, knock, knock. Here's my, here's <laughs> yeah, a little, exactly. I don't know, I know. tart for you. Exactly. Ah! Right? That's exactly how that's we speak how, to each other. Well, we used to say, you coming out. <laughs> you coming out. You coming out. 
Oh, what, can you uh, can you ask your mum? Can I say out? no one came and knocked on my door? You uh, were, oh, <laughs> shame. You didn't live near many people. Did I lived near Rose, three fields, and that was it. Yeah, Rose lives in a. <laughs> uh, I lived in a small town, and Rose's was even smaller. They call it a hamlet over here, Jack. That's weird. I don't like it that. It is weird. <laughs> I don't like it. I like your Hamlet, babes. Let me just. So, Rosie, did you think anything of Rose during this all of this time? Didn't like even... this girl lesbian came into your sweets shop. <laughs> you weren't like, yeah, oh, okay. Shop. I didn't even think about it. Didn't even Come think into my. Know? Know? I was flattered. You I, loved the attention. Yeah, like like I was not bothered by the stalking. Well, one, I didn't Can know you your phone in the car. Stalking. <laughs> stop saying it's it's not stalking. Well, look, guys, it is fine. It is fine. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you are married. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it worked out. It worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. I'm just going to check my camera one sec because I'm paranoid. Okay. okay. Sure. But it won't, it won't have done it. It won't have turned off now. No, it's okay. Great. Did you minutes. put the heating on? Yes. Oh, should we turn it off so it yes. doesn't hurt, hurt the camera? Yes. yes. Stupid you have camera. The heat but it's fine. On. Yeah, yeah, why? Is it cold? It's yeah, it's freezing. It's absolutely like, freezing. Like how cold? It was, it was so day. cold we got into bed earlier and just to warm up. I fell asleep. <laughs> like how many degrees though? Um, give, me, well, give me the numbers. Okay, okay it's actually, like, <laughs> it look, it, it, it's 14 degrees, which is hot, but it got it's really 14 cold. 14 degrees it, is not hot. It's not hot. Well, Last that's week not hot. it was 27 degrees and I actually got a tan. So yeah, for England, yeah, yeah, England, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's 27 degrees. is yeah, 27's yeah, hot. 27's like if I went abroad, it, it would Sorry. probably be 27. Yeah, it's probably 27 here now. No, it's actually harder. Never mind. Is I'm it? Sure. Oh, oh, I'm so jealous of the weather. <gasps> we'd move to LA, but we'd probably break up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we talk more about that? Okay, fine. I want you guys to move here, but I, mean, I don't want really you to break want up. To. Yeah, I want. I feel to. like That's you could. Couch. <laughs> you could make it. I feel like you could make it. I hope I, so. I, the thing is, though, I yeah, I, we really considered it for a long time, but now we've got pets, and also, you know, we're trying mm. for a baby and stuff like that, so it's, like, I, more complicated. I don't so expensive. Know if mm. Hollywood is the place for old lesbians. I feel like Portia yeah. and, and Ellen have that covered, and there's no <laughs> more room. I can't keep up with you guys. You, you have a lifestyle that's so cool and trendy and young, yeah. and I'm like, oh, I just want to eat takeaway food. We, me and Rose have really <laughs> got into, um, I don't know if you know about it, it's called cottage core. Have you ever heard about that? No. We don't have no. cottages here. So. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's What's like, that? It's like the aesthetic of cottages. So basically it's, it's like baking your own bread. Patchwork um, quilt. Berry picking and then making your own jam, <laughs> homemade. Yeah, like it's that. a lot of bullshit. It's Wearing a, a dress and like hand washing your items. And okay, <laughs> no one hand washes things at the river, Rosie. That's that not cottage core. <laughs> Looking for fairy houses, yeah. like, I don't know. So I don't know how we'd fit in LA. Exactly. We're, yeah. too, <laughs> we're too British for it, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know Honestly, if LA is the place to like dark. raise a kid too. Exactly, yeah. Really? <laughs> do, you, do you not think so? No, everyone who's no. from LA is, turns up washed up, except Joanna. Trash. <laughs> Ava, from LA. Ava's also from LA. Okay. So really? I think it's, you know, not fair to say that everyone from LA is. <laughs> is it hit and miss? Hit and miss, you never know. It's definitely <laughs> I guess so. mostly miss. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good today. That get, that's good today. I I don't feel so we'll bad just, about not moving. We'll just visit occasionally. It'll be it'll be mm-hmm. fine. Summer home. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. In your grandma's gothic mansion. Ooh. <laughs> that's where I want to be. Honestly, yeah. San Diego is the move right now. I want to move to San Diego. Oh, oh yeah. Come and San Diego. move here. Come and move, move here. Move to England for a year. Do a year. But then. But then I'd have two friends and it'd be you guys. That's okay. That means we'd have one friend. But you'd, <laughs> you'd get into the cottage core and then you'd come back, you know, a stalker who bakes bread, you know, and it'd be great that for you. That sounds kind of fun. Exactly. Yeah, right? Exactly. I'll do it. Wait, Let's so, do it. okay, so then you guys officially, like, met Matt at a Halloween party? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so Please, you, tell you us. Get, so Rose Gate crushed my Halloween party. I went dressed as a ghost. In disguise. As not to be recognised. Um, and <laughs> I cut two holes in a sheet. I got in without paying on the door. I was like, oh, I paid before I was the other ghost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, oh my God. God. There was um, another ghost there. You were dressed as the Queen of Hearts. You had a, the Queen of Hearts. a really lanky, really tall boyfriend with no personality and it annoyed me. I hate him now, don't worry. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 
Um, and yeah, you looked amazing. And I was there just, you know, in my sheet. And, and I remember I was introduced to you. And at first you didn't give a shit who I was. No. And then they said, oh, this is Blorin's Rose. And I was like, oh, you're that Rose. Oh. So then you knew I was gay. And then I flirted with her a bit because I knew she liked me. And then I was ah! like, meh. And then oh. you didn't text me back. Yeah, I didn't text you back. Bitch. Because yeah. <laughs> I had a boyfriend. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> well, did you like text her just like, hey, thanks for the party? Or like, because you can reply to that if you have a Yeah, boyfriend. but she didn't. Yeah, I, did, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what you said. But, uh, but that day I woke up at my boyfriend's house and then I went home. And then I realized I'd left my pants in, um, in at his house. Of course was, you did. I was like, oh, it's okay. Like he won't find them. And then his dog found my pants. And then he rang me and was like, oh, my dog found your pants. And I was like, were they dirty? And he didn't say anything. And I was like, were they dirty? And he was like, oh, my yeah. God. And I was like, ah! Because I wet myself that night. What the <laughs> fuck? I got really drunk and I peed my pants. <laughs> and um, then left them. How his... old were you? How old, <laughs> what age was this? I was like 18. 18. Oh, that's you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amy, I pee my pants like now. Like, yeah, it's called like weak bladder. Yeah, <laughs> problem. I've got a terrible bladder. You've Lord got so help much. Me. You've got so much to look forward to, guys. It's getting yeah. old is great. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. It happens when you're thirty. You know, your bladder just gives in. Good. Yeah. So we were gonna ask. I asked date uh, Amy if she's dating anyone. She was like, we're in quarantine, but I'm gonna ask again for the podcast. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. So Amy, Wait, what? Okay. I'm just gonna ask you. Okay, yeah. you gotta make it smooth though. Okay, when we stopped cameras, Rosie just asked me if I was dating anyone. Yeah. And I said, obviously no, because I'm one, me, and two, <laughs> we're still in isolation. Are you guys like still in quarantine? Yeah, we are, but you oh. can date people in isolation. That's the fun of it. Oh my we've, God. We've got a friend who's recently come out actually, and he is dating his first ever boyfriend. In quarantine. In like, so, quarantine. Yeah, so we came out and it became quarantine. And they've been having these Skype dates and it's really cute. And they've not met that in person. They've cute. never met oh in my person. God. They are the cutest. Yeah, they so are. So that's, that's cool. They are. So it's possible. Well, they could... They should go on like a six feet apart date. But I think yeah. maybe they're waiting because maybe they're like, I'm worried I want to tear your clothes off. I don't know. I don't Ooh. know how it's going. Well, maybe yeah. they're just nervous to meet in person. Yeah, I think they are. I think it's like built the tension up, really. Cause wow. Because maybe you would have met quicker in real life. Yeah, in real yeah, life. yeah. I mean, it is For real sure. life. Yeah. Amy, that must be so dramatic. I want to know, Amy, what is, you're, you're like, oh, I'm not dating. One, because, you know, it's me. Two, because, quite, Amy, there is nothing wrong with you, okay? You are a very dateable person. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. think that there's anything wrong with me. Oh, <laughs> I just, well, that's good, because that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I just don't think I'm, like, in a place mentally where I... I would want to date anyone. That's the best time to date people. Yeah. <laughs> Best is time. it? Yeah. yeah. Why did you say that? Because because before I dated Rose, I was in such a bad place. I said, I'm not going to date anyone for a year. I'm going to have a year off. I'm going to focus on me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I think that made made it the best decision yeah. ever. Sometimes it's when you don't want it. Yeah, when you, you don't want it, it's the best. Yeah. Well, there's just like no way. I think also because I just struggle to have any type of connection with anyone like online i think it's mm. the most boring way to date it's like via text do you think being a youtuber makes it hard for you to date yes i don't think so <laughs> I, do think? I feel like it must <laughs> it must i not that i have like noticed i have noticed go on you no. have? So, tell me tell well, us <clears throat> you have only ever dated youtubers because that's the only crowd you're you surround yourself in so I think sure. like you don't date normally like using dating apps or like meeting regular people because you know you I you only meet, like, like the people that you of friends. Yeah. Yeah. But like that crowd all runs together. And then I no, think people I who are YouTubers are inherently like we only really need one of them in a relationship. No <laughs> offense. Ill. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I get it. Fine. No, trust me, I've no, seen I it. I get it. it. I get it. And would you ever no. date a fan? Like a fan? Yeah. No. Like Why someone not? who's like a fan? Yeah. I feel yeah, like, fan, yeah. I feel like like wouldn't that just create like an unhealthy power dynamic? Maybe, but 
<laughs> it's like someone who knows hmm. everything about me and I don't know them at all. Yeah, you're right. That is that is strange. That's why I wouldn't date a fan because I'd be like, this is an what? unhealthy balance. Oh, that's our Indian takeaway. But take I would one. want. Like, Hold on. Oh. Oh, just someone's our Indian takeaway. Like, Hold on. Okay, one more <laughs> well, we can Sorry. still talk. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, come here, come I here, just. Come here. Sorry, guys. Basically, this is what happens when our doorbell goes. Our dog goes fucking mad. <laughs> Quiet. I'll put it in the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Sorry. Okay, that's over. Um, I would oh. want them to like be a like a fan in like a cute, like yeah. how you guys are fans of each other, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way, but yeah, I think not in right. like a like a. YouTuber like how fan you stalked way. Rosie. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did stalk. <laughs> like, but it worked no out, one, didn't it? No one's going to like go up to Amy at VidCon. And I don't feel like Amy's going to be like, oh, my God, this is the love of my life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like well, that's you don't, never, Amy, never say never. Just never say never. OK. Well, I just know that I never want to date another YouTuber. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, I understand that. That's fair. I'm going to let you have that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you right, I think like. Oh, she's just I weird. Just like to... Oh, no worries. <laughs> she's got, apparently she's got a great question for you, Amy. Oh, no. What is it? <laughs> uh, basically, uh, she says she'll never date a fan. Yeah? Then I want to know if she thinks a celebrity should never date a non-celebrity then. Because, say, like... Right, everybody... ask her yourself. Right, okay. <laughs> what? Right, okay. I'm okay. Back. Sorry about that. I hope that's yeah. all. Let me just... Let me yes, just want to paranoid. Paranoid. Check Paran it. Yeah, I'm just Oh, my God. I mean, like, I want okay. to. I want Natasha Leon to date me, Ooh, but Natasha I'm a Leon. fan of her. Yeah. So I don't know if there would be like some unhealthy power dynamic because I'd be like obsessed with her because she's Natasha. Natasha. Yeah, Leon. but like, for example, then should I don't know, uh, uh, who's a big Hollywood actor? Like, say Tom Hanks, right? Should he mm -hmm. have? Should he never? If he was single, date anyone who's not a celebrity because they know all about Tom Hanks and. You know, like what? No, I you said fan. fan. I yeah. feel like civilian. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's fan. different. Yeah, yeah like yeah. just like a human <laughs> being. Like I, mean, I don't know everything about Tom Hanks. Like I could date Tom Hanks. Right. Okay. So yeah. it's someone I could fan is, I think, different. A different word. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. someone who has, like watched a couple of my videos because it was there like that's whatever right. you were, you were my fan though i guess that's true <laughs> and it works so well that's yeah true. but it's different because you didn't know like you didn't know anything about her that's you true i didn't so because I could... she's hot that, yeah. yes that's <laughs> put it plainly it's true yeah, yeah it's true yeah yeah so <laughs> cool there so i want you to date and me be in control of your messages <gasps> that'd be fun well you can yeah you can like like sign into my bumble if you want yes you i would can love message that whoever i used I to give that. my phone to alexis and be like do whatever you want <laughs> I, I would love that. i would love that oh my power. god we could create the next rose and rosie i'm sorry what a fantastic could. youtube <laughs> series taking oh, over yeah. ordman's life yes <laughs> out of the ordinary <laughs> oh my god Wait. i will i'll give you my login and you can Please. totally go ham you okay. guys yeah, I would love really to. should do a YouTube series called R and R, where you try and find the next Rose and Rosie oh. on, of YouTube, like I matchmaker. Love I love that. We could do that. I mean, that's very narcissistic and egotistical of us, but I like it. But, what if we like, built our amazing. own ne arch nemesis and then and they were more successful? And they were than more us. successful and what then. What if you try and set someone up with Blorin? No. Oh <laughs> my God, Wait. The Bachelorette, but it's Blorin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Is she I cute? I, could I be interested in Blarin? I think, I, listen, no, I, think, guys. I, I really don't want to shame <laughs> someone online because I think it's not healthy, but I think your past relationship wasn't healthy and so I don't want to advocate for anyone. Also, I don't know mm. Blarin now. Yeah. She has had 10 years to grow and evolve yeah, and I hope that totally she person. is happy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and who knows? She could be really cute. Like, you've got no, we've got no idea. Yeah. But I, I wish she the best. She was cute then. I wish it, yeah, I wish but like, the best. you know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That was our wrap up of Blarin. Okay, so <laughs> you guys have also had a lot of YouTube drama. <laughs> God. Have we? Have we? Yes. Yes, you have. Okay. And you know you have. <laughs> Do really? We? So, 
Yes, uh, I feel like you've taught, you've spoken about like even specific names of people in videos. YouTube what was your drama. biggest YouTube drama? And what is I, your most recent YouTube drama? Oh my god, this is such a great question. What's our <laughs> biggest oh. YouTube drama? Mm. I got, it's been a while. I think the Ali Hills Gate I was think probably Ali, it. I think Ali Hills. Rosie was genuinely jealous of Ali Hills and genuinely, yeah, she was genuinely in love genuinely with Genuinely disliked her, but then yeah, realized like, one day oh. the coin dropped or the penny dropped, and Rosie was like, oh, I'm angry because I like her and I want to be her friend. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and then they made friends, and it was like the cutest thing. And that was like 2000 and what? Yeah, 16, but I genuinely 15? hated her. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, genu- she genuinely tried to get you. No, she did. Yes, didn't. she did. <gasps> yeah, she but did. But did, did you never think, like, oh, she lives in a different country? <laughs> yeah, I did think that. But then I went over to LA, and she was like, came up to me and was like, yeah, I found my diary from that time, and I was legitimately in love with Rose. And I was like, I know, you told everyone about it. Oh, just let her have her feelings. Who can blame her? (laughs) But you can't hate everyone who, like, has a YouTube crush on Rose. Or the opposite way. I have so many. Do you? Depends how aggressive they are. I have so many YouTube crushes. And you do too. Right? (gasps) Yeah. Who are your YouTube crushes? Oh, all of you guys. Because you're all so gorgeous. (laughs) It's Um, true. I re- I've got loads of YouTube crushes. I mean, I, I, I am strongly attracted to Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? I mean, oh that's fair. God. That's fair. Um, and you are strongly attracted to everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but in terms of drama, we, we actually try and kind of avoid drama by being kind of like ironically problematic. Yeah. I don't know if we've had big drama because I feel like we just say stuff and... Uh, hope for the best. Hope for the best, <laughs> yeah. I think well, we Jack and I did that once and we actually also got in trouble. Oh, we were like... We were big trouble. I feel like... Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, <laughs> it wasn't even... It was literally very Rose and Rosie-esque, I feel. In our in our, in our delivery. delivery, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go on. Go on. Was, I can train you. It, <laughs> it was a new lesbian couple who had they they were like very public immediately and then they broke up also immediately and so we made a, a it wasn't even a whole video it was like 20 seconds in Jack's vlog being like we're devastated that they broke up. They were giving us that good, good content, right. literally. Like, we were obsessed the, with them. The title may have been They Broke Up, and the thumbnail may have been us going... Well, it was <laughs> shocking. It, liter- it was <laughs> shocking, to be fair. I think that's fair. And I think yeah, that's fair. Right. All... The fact is, is that if you put your relationship online uh, and, and market yourself as a really in love couple and then immediately break up, why aren't you allowed to take the piss? Yeah. Fine. It doesn't mean you like hate them or you're actually. It's no. just a bit of piss. It's a bit, like, a bit, a bit, a bit of piss. It was a bit of piss. It was a bit of piss. Yeah, it was a bit of piss. Oh. But I think like their like... relationship. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think Americans are probably. I think maybe because Jack's American and I'm Australian, we couldn't get away with it. But I think if you guys did it, you totally could have gotten away with it. I don't know. I feel like, I think that, maybe. Listen, I think you've got to be careful you about have. like, uh, you know, I don't want anyone to think I'm promoting bullying, but I also no. think, you know, if someone like, you if know. If it's light Why can't you take the piss out of someone breaking up? It's yeah, funny. Yeah, I, I think there's a, I think there's, a, there's a line, isn't there? And it's, I'm sure one day Rosie and I will cross it and mm. then we'll learn the hard way. And I hope, I hope that doesn't happen. Same. But I also like to be able to be in a space where I'm just like, do you know what guys, there are bigger problems. Like we're, yeah, we're having a bit problems. of a joke. Yeah. But, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's not really tar- like hateful or tar- yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, mm. but it's, it's just we'll light see. mocking. Just light yeah. to heavy <laughs> mocking. Yeah. It, it's, it, all we said was it was brief, but it was passionate, which is true. I think, I really think it's really funny. <laughs> so what else do you have it's on really your list? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> most recent beef. I I mean, I wait, I can't even talk about this anyway. So don't worry about it. <laughs> I was just going to say how I texted you guys and I said, zip it. You remember that? Yeah. Recently? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. So that's that was our YouTube beef. Oh. What you and me? Yeah. No. What, what? Oh yeah. 
yeah, maybe maybe we were being too um, open about all of Amy's private life. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know? Yeah, I remember it's a possibility. that. It's well. very hard being, you know, knowing all the information and not being able to bitch mm. about it online. It's very hard not to use Amy um, for our own content, regardless yeah. of her feelings. Very hard. Yeah, but we learned, you know, and we were told, and um, and we took it really well. I mean, yeah. we bitched about it for about 14 we'll days. We'll just make it up. We'll just make no. it up. No. Honestly, I have noticed that you guys have like stopped talking about the LA lesbians as much. Is it, why? Well, I mean, thank you. Please continue. <laughs> well, but why? I, I don't know. I think because we've honestly probably because we've spoken to you less and because we've been in lockdown. We've yeah, also, no one's doing mm, any drama really. We've been on that's this true. like baby journey and that's been quite all consuming. Yeah. Um, but what we need yeah. to do is come back over, hear all the gossip, and then we'll slowly leak it. That's our like six months worth of content. <laughs> that would be great, Amy. Drip it out. And if you could give us some real hardcore facts that can't be shared, we'll share yeah. them. <laughs> and then you can send me some kind of text that I just delete. Also, the drama you tell me is so fucking we can't even put it online. Like, like the last drama you told me was insane about the <laughs> cabin. I can't even remember. Oh, the cabin. cabin. Oh, the cabin. Yeah, the cabin. <laughs> um, Wish I was there. You know, like people, I don't even know if they'd believe it if I said it was a lie. This is why we find it so funny. Sometimes we tell the truth and then people think it's so far-fetched. It's a lie. <laughs> but sometimes we'll say, yeah, this happened. And then people are like, don't say that. It actually happened. But, like, oh, I didn't know. We should probably <laughs> shut the fuck up sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. We'll, well see. I wish there was drama for me to tell you, but that's like I feel like when I text you, it's always because I have some juicy gossip to share. But, but I, yeah. I have nothing right now. We There's also nothing. like talking to you, Amy. We don't just use you. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, when you guys call me, I my a pit in my stomach. Like I, you know, I get so nervous. I'm like, what's going oh, on now? Is that because we're famous? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's because you guys are so lesbian. Yeah, no, I get it. Please, we're just normal people. <laughs> well. Okay, should we get into some advice questions? Yes, sure. Yes. My okay. ladies. I've got it here. Okay. Okay. Do you so want to read the, the first one, ones. Rosie? Yeah, is it okay if we do the two small ones, yeah? <laughs> no! <laughs> I want one of the small ones. <laughs> I can't do the one that's an essay. I'll say everything okay, wrong. Okay, Jack, Jack, uh, you read the first one and then we'll divvy up the rest okay. between each other. I'll do it in an accent though, so it sounds like Rose and Rosie. Okay, great. Yeah, okay, great. So, freshman year, I went to, for a <laughs> random roommate and I literally hit the jackpot. We were so compatible, became such good friends, had absolutely no issues at all. Everything was great. Her name was Blorin. Until one <laughs> night, <laughs> about a third of the way into the year, we had a little party in our suite. And we both got super drunk and I got really crossed. It was a good time. Little did I know my roommate slash best friend was apparently making moves on me the entire night and I had no idea. Ooh. Lots Ooh. of eye contact, putting her legs on my lap when we sat on the couch. And I was completely oblivious. Mm. Later after the party We went to go to bed And she got super awkward And told me that she had a crush on me For a while But didn't want to make it weird And I was And she was surprised I didn't know Because she had been making moves all night But She had a boyfriend of two years This really sounds a lot like Your story It It does does. Yeah is this you It totally (laughs) does (laughs) It was Um, But she had a boyfriend of two years Who went to a different school And she had previously identified as straight I didn't know what to do Long story short We hooked up and things got quite complicated after. She told her boyfriend the next morning. He was pissed. And I had met him before, which made it even more awkward. She and I had so many intense conversations about what it meant, um, what we were going to do, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, the whole thing made me really depressed because I actually really liked her and I felt guilty about it all. And then she ended up staying with her boyfriend. <gasps> oh. Then eventually broke up a couple months later and we never talked or <gasps> we never talked about it more. And we're still really good friends and nothing else has happened or will happen. Kind of sucked, TBH. Kind of feel like I'm a homewrecker. And I'm mad at her for using me. How, how, she's not the homewrecker. How are they still f- good friends? Like, that's... She's not the homewrecker. The person with the boyfriend, you know, that's on them. Whether they hook up with somebody else. At least yeah. she told her boyfriend the very next day. I mean, that's Honesty a step in the right direction. exactly the best policy, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but it Nessie. sucks that they broke up. Like, the boyfriend and her broke up and then they didn't even talk about it again. Yeah, it sounded like 
it was more exciting when she was forbidden fruit when she had a boyfriend. Mm. I know all and about that. And then she felt like she could be like, yeah, I've been making loads of moves on you. I'm surprised you don't even know. But when she didn't have a boyfriend, they never spoke about it again. Yeah, what's that about? Ah, people with boyfriends, man, they suck. Yeah, that's the problem, <laughs> isn't it? That is the problem. All people with boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. Just in general. That's funny. Just in general. Um, What's your take on it, Rose? What do you think? I think that person did use you. I, I think you were mildly <laughs> used and that's upsetting. <laughs> and I also want to know, like, where are you now? Like, what, with yeah. this girl? Like, what's the situation? Are you still roommates? On the plus side, you mm. might be an integral part in that person coming out because they used to identify straight. That's so true. Then they really fancied the girl and hooked up, even though it was, like, with the boyfriend. Maybe maybe, maybe she felt it process. was safe for her to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really mm-hmm. easy to judge, um, but I'm hoping that it's all going to work out and it's going to be a happy ending and the two girls get married and the boyfriend just goes away. I hope that as well. <laughs> I wish that for everyone. <laughs> not everyone. Not everyone. Most people. They're not all bad. Um, um, what's your take, What do you Amy? think, guys? I don't even know. I, I mean, definitely don't feel embarrassed or that, no. you know. No, you don't feel anything. embarrassed. Not embarrassed. Yeah. Hey, listen, everything happens. So just learn yeah. and grow. I feel I like you should that. definitely everything. talk about it. Like, yeah, I think. like maybe, oh, yeah. for maybe, sure, for sure. maybe there is something there, and that's why yes. you want yes, each that, other. Yes. Something's unsaid; it needs to be yeah. resolved. Yep. Something like, needs to come out. If you're gonna break up with, if you're gonna cheat on the boyfriend, you might as well get some good out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> that's logic. <laughs> that's what would be awkward <laughs> is if they've now realized that they're like gay, and they're broken up with the boyfriend, but now they don't. Now they might want to see other people or. Yeah. Mm. Make her jealous. <laughs> Bring someone no. back to the room. Game playing never works. Uh, no, no, no. Why are you saying no, Amy? I think yeah. yeah I feel like make her jealous can't be the right or healthy answer. Yeah, make her <laughs> jealous. This. That sounds like a really good <laughs> idea. Uh, you, get, you get a boyfriend. Then you'll know. Start talking about your boyfriend. Ah! Okay. But then wouldn't it be even worse if she didn't care and now you have a whole boyfriend? <laughs> Get with her old boyfriend Whoa. and then oh. she'll want you again. And then it'll get even more messy and that's just fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, do you guys want to read the next one? I mean, yes. do people give better advice than we do? Probably. Uh, probably We're awful. not. Um, okay, I've got one. I was watching one of your episodes and some advice you gave for not getting bored in a relationship was not to move in with your partner too early. My question for you is, how early is too early when moving in with a new partner? If you have a pattern of getting with someone and then within a certain time frame getting bored, I suggest don't move in with anyone Mm. until you've gotten over that pattern. I agree. And maybe... How long... Did it take for you guys to move in together? Oh, we were very strict about this. We were really careful. We dated for two years. Yeah, two, two years, years and we, yeah. on our second year of being together we moved in together we yeah. made sure that I lived alone for at least a year because I'd never moved out of my parents house yeah, it and was, it was really important for it me was the do. one thing we were good about <laughs> because I was like oh I really love you but I really don't want to move in and then have to break up and it'd be really messy and us have to like move our stuff out that's honesty for yeah, you yeah, yeah. I didn't want that so um, we but, were careful yeah I think but I think that um, that person obviously gets bored in relationships I think that um, that won't last forever that feeling I I think that they're just mm. like mm. maybe a bit scared of commitment. I think they need to question why they get bored. Yeah. What, what about um, safety and commitment um, frightens them? Because sometimes oh. uh, just being like a therapist with no qualifications here. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people get bored uh, of like the, almost the perfect people because they have maybe grown up in an environment that is kind of unsafe. Mm. And so when they actually find someone safe and secure, they mm. tr- subconsciously... Sabotage. Yeah, crave mm-hmm. the up and down, mm. crazy life that they may have had. Oh, you've got really deep. Um, I'm just going to say don't move in until two years. <laughs> <laughs> um, psychologists say you should know someone for two years before you move That's in. That's what them. psychologists say and they're all right. Oh. So, yeah. so I, I go with the two years. But yeah, um, yeah, 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 two cool. years. I'm just checking yeah. this again because I'm, I'm I'm know I'm running out. I'm oh dying of paranoia. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I yeah. think two years 12%. sounds good to me. I think okay. the, in- the, the camera's on twelve percent, so we just got to finish up quick. I want to make Great. sure you get an outro. Do you want to do an outro now so you just have it, case. just in case? Let's just read the one short one, and then do we'll do the outro, and then that'll be it. Okay, I think I was going to do that. Do you want to do that one? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Amy, Jack, and guest. Oh, sorry. 
That's you. That's You're okay. okay. Hi, Amy, Jack, Rose, and Rosie. I'll keep it short so Amy has some to read. So me, me. No, no, right. So me and my friend came out as bi around the same time. I have since realised I'm indeed just a raging lesbian, but that's a story for another time. Anyways, <laughs> she's been dating this guy for about a year and I don't know how I feel about it. They're in a monogamous relationship, but they made an agreement that she can still hook up with girls on the side, but only girls. It mm. seems like they don't see that as cheating if it's a girl, but if it was a guy, it would be cheating. I don't know, something about that doesn't vibe right with me. Thoughts? Anyway, that's all. Uh, Jack and Amy are the best. Happy Pride Month, babes. A haiku for you. Um, so... I was in that exact situation. My boyfriend before Rose was totally fine with me getting with girls, but obviously I could never get with a guy. Well, I said, wow. obviously. Wow. It's not really that obvious. Mm. Um, but um, I don't think it's okay for this bisexual girl to try and vibe check their agreement. because mm. That's or, true. But That's yeah, true. Because mm. it's not anything to do with her. Mm. And although it might seem wrong, and I can totally understand that, yeah, it's not fair, and that, you know, if getting with a girl is, isn't is cheating, why is getting with a boy, why have they made that distinction? Yeah, that's annoying. The fact is, is that's their boundary. Yeah. And um, that's their boundary. Yeah. Because wow. you don't know, maybe the boyfriend watches her hook up with girls, and that's their thing. You've it's got no true. idea what's going on. And I am... Um, <laughs> I think it's none of your business, babe. <laughs> <laughs> none of your business. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're looking out for your friend, but you are going to be the interfering mother-in-law oh. if you continue. Ooh. There you go. Step back. It's not your fight. I agree. If you're in that situation, well, you're not bisexual anymore, but um, if, if you were and you were in that situation and you weren't comfortable with it, then don't allow it in your right. relationship. But right. I was in that uh, um, situation, and although it was, like, annoying, but, uh, yeah, they weren't treating my feelings for girls equally as it would be with a feeling for a boy, uh, it really helped me explore my bisexuality in a safe way mm. where I was still in a great relationship. Mm. I guess you could say it was an open mm. relationship with, with uh, boundaries. Mm. But, yeah, so... Mm. Um, I'm not mad. I think I'm glad. I agree with I'm everything glad. she says. Yeah, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. What do you guys think? I think you're totally right. I think fucking points were made and I have nothing else to say. Yeah. Perfect. I, For once I was right. <laughs> Go on, Jack. I mean, I initially I will say I thought before you said that, like, it is a little weird that, you know, men aren't treating like gay relation or like female gay relationships as like serious cool. yeah um but i think a lot of that just comes down to the guys like insecurity um yeah, right. and like because i don't know i feel like it's much more it's more comparative to like the man if you're yes, sleeping with another yeah. man but if it's another right. woman like you're it's less a comparison, so less I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Like, yeah. yeah, because they might have a real insecurity. Like, if the guy is, I don't know, more muscular mm. or something, they might yeah. be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. I agree. I concur. Yeah. I concur. I concur. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay, you guys. So, how we usually wrap up with our guests is we get you guys to say a haiku. Oh, so that's why they could it. It, Yeah. What should the haiku be about today, Jack? Wait, um, what's the stalking. haiku? Is it like three lines? Stalking, that's good. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a it's poem, poetry. Okay. Uh three lines, five syllables, seven syllables, and then five syllables again. Five, and we seven, want it five. to be about stalking, please. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. I can't do this. I and <laughs> Okay, no no no, I'm gonna go. I really enjoy it. Oh no, it's the six. Okay. <laughs> you need to let you can, you, can, <laughs> you can let them spill over into the next line. We'll allow that. Okay. Stalking, stalking can be good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but sometimes it's not that good. <laughs> wow, true, this true. is great. Yeah. But sometimes <laughs> it it's <is>. good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for coming on Dating Straight. We've been begging you to come on for so long. Aww. And finally, I'm so glad that you guys could come. Oh, <laughs> thank you. you, guys. It's been nothing but a pleasure. Please move to the UK, both of you, so we can all date. <laughs> and get into the cottage uh, core. Okay. <laughs> okay, we will do. Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Oddman. I'm Jack Dodge. And this is Dating Straight. See you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. We could be a broken hearted lover.